What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest AOSP extended build on top of Android 10 for this device and I did flash it with the Orange Fox recovery here and to flash this ROM you gotta keep in mind that you may need to flash the fcrypt disabler yes I did flash it with the fcrypt disabler but I'm not quite recommending because some developers has said that fcrypt disabler flashing may cause like or may end up your device on boot loop or something so do not blame me if something goes wrong but let me tell you that with the orange fox server recovery i wiped cache dalvik system data and then just simply flashed this rom file and the fcrypt disabler and rebooted so i switched from the pixel experience android 10 rom to this aosp extended android 10 rom and seems like this rom is pretty fine so let me show you the about section first this is how the about section looks like and android version shows as aex logo up top and android version is 10 of course and you can just like move it around like this and it plays kind of this is the AOSP extended version 7.0 alpha build and the security patch is latest October 5th 2019 and then we have the build date and kernel version the build date is again 17th October 2019 build and the stock kernel is extended plus kernel let me go back quickly if you go into the system then here you won't find any system updater at least as of now and if you go into gestures, let me show you that we do have this gesture navigation of Android 10. So I'm just simply using those gestures from here. Let me reduce the brightness a little bit. In the display settings over here, there is night light option and stuff. As you can see, these works flawlessly and dark theme is there too. So if you're someone who enjoys dark theme or dark mode, you're gonna love it. And double tap to wake is there, it is working and accent colors and stuff is there. But let me show you the most interesting part quickly. So if you go to these extensions over here, then status bar, then status bar items, as you can see, we get headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. And if you're noticing, let me show you from up close that there is the Vaulty icon and Vaulty calls do work super fine. And on this ROM, the volume panel looks like this. If you're connected to a Bluetooth device, you can just tap on over here, then just like switch the speaker to this default speaker of the device. So let me just place a Vaulty call from here. So the Vaulty calls do work fine, but there is no call recording option or something like that as of right now, at least by default. So let me go back to the extensions again and inside notification panel, we have the quick setting panel customization. There is vibrate on toggle touch, then brightness slider, then brightness icon, animation style, animation duration, etc. stuff and let me go back then we have the navigation bar this is the nav bar tuner or something you can just like invert the layout or something if you're using a nav bar but currently i'm just using the full screen gesture so and inside recents this is totally empty and if you go into lock screen you will have the lock screen ui and there is the double tap to sleep on the lock screen so that is a great thing and let me go back inside system and general tweaks we have the three finger screenshot gesture so as you can see it works flawlessly although as of right now there is no like scrolling screenshot or something but normal screenshot like works flawlessly over here with the three finger screenshot gestures so that is fine inside buttons we have the power menu and from here you can enable the advanced restart so this is quite great thing that in the power menu section you will have the advanced option and from here you will have the recovery bootloader and system ui options so we already have customizations pretty much on this like AOSP extended ROM based on Android 10. So this is pretty lit. Here we get quick step launcher as the default launcher of this ROM and the launcher is smooth enough and you can search for like any app from here like let me search WhatsApp as you can see you can search anything from here and the most interesting thing of this quick step launcher boom there is double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen. So this is a quite interesting feature and if you go into the settings of this quick step launcher you will see this double tap to sleep gesture or something. So these are all the settings of this like stock launcher over here stock quick step launcher. And one more cool thing is that you can also swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel or the notification panel. And this ROM also supports fast charging with the 18 watt charger of course. There is also pixel launcher and G apps do come with this ROM preloaded. So you don't need to flash any separate G apps on this ROM. So that's how it is. 
and double tap to sleep i'm just enjoying it and let me show you double tap to wake works too as you can see and double tap to sleep even on the lock screen works then like the lock screen animation and stuff and the fingerprint scanner speed i almost forgot to mention let me show you the fingerprint scanner is quite fast here just notice So now let's talk about the stock cameras over here on this ROM. So the stock camera again boring Snapdragon camera here. But the interesting fact is Google camera 7 is working. The video I made about this Google camera will be linked in the cards right here. And if you are using the XML files, I have, I have been using the battery mod XML. So with this XML pretty fine with the camera's performance over here. And Google camera is kind of like working fine for me at least and night sight and portrait mode and stuff like those are working super fine too with the battery mod xml and quite interesting thing is like the video mode and stuff everything is working and quick note for the redmi note 5 pro user that is why i have the device over here the google camera 7 same google camera is working super fine on the like uh, redmi note 5 pro too although it is quite laggy as you can see if i put it side by side it is quite laggy yes Sometimes it does become too much laggy, but otherwise the Google camera is working fine. I just took a picture on the Redmi Note 5 Pro with the Google camera 7. And as you can see, the Google camera pictures are pretty fine. There are some dust on the screen, which I can't wipe right now from the desk. But yes, the portrait, the night sight with the stock settings I'm using over here, but it is working fine. So you guys definitely can use the Google camera 7 from my Redmi Note 7 Pro video if you want to use it on your redmi note 5 pro let's switch back now in terms of miui camera yes i have flashed the anx camera 152 zip and it is working again so this is great that the anx camera is working but make sure you are flashing the 152 zip the anx camera version 152 zip with your like twrp or orange fox recovery i will recommend you guys using orange fox recovery but let me show you if you switch to portrait mode and stuff it's gonna like say can't connect to camera so be aware of that the photo and normal like modes are working fine but the video and portrait mode do crash with the anx camera now let's open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management and while i do that let me tell you that like in this rom i did face some like stutterings or getting stuck somehow well i have been watching a youtube video then i tried to connect my bluetooth device with it like with the device then for like three or four times at least for 10 seconds the device was stuck in youtube and youtube was four stopped or it said like it will close the app or something so that is how it is yes sometimes youtube or something do crash or like it can get a little bit weird with the performance but don't get me wrong the overall day-to-day -day performance is pretty fine yes it will be buggy it's android 10 what are you like talking about i'm fine with it i have customizations on top of android 10 and I will use this ROM pretty much. So as you can see, all the apps do stay in memory just like butter and you can switch the apps like just like this. It's pretty smooth, no issues whatsoever. And talking about gaming, let me show you. And while the game is loading, here is the Android score of this ROM. Yes, this score is quite lower than the Pixel Experience Android 10 based ROM from that 2 lakh 25,000 crazy score. Yes, but that's what you get. So you can play on smooth and ultra settings or you can go balanced or ultra then we have the HD and high so on smooth and balanced you can play on ultra settings so that is really good let me start a TDM So the gaming performance as you can see is pretty fine in ultra it plays pretty quite smoothly so i'm fine with it 
Now let's talk about a few more things which are important I think. The Google Pay. Well it is simply not working by default at least it shows the device is rooted or something like that. So it says custom OS uncertified. So Google Pay can't be used by default but you can use it I think by disabling phone and SMS app permission from Google Play services although i did not try that personally and a good thing over here is the ir blaster is working i did test it with this rgb remote app and the ir blaster do work over here flawlessly so what do i think about this rom well with android 10 with customizations i am pretty much happy with this rom and it is quite fast so i would say the redmi note 7 pro is kind of rocking the aosp extended rom as of right now pretty fine if you want android 10 and with customizations on top of that you can definitely try and flash this ROM. It will be a pretty good daily driver. And even the battery life I forgot to mention is pretty good. As you can see, I got about two plus hours of screen on time and that is too with gaming. Let me show you, I played Clash of Clans, then PUBG, and it was quite heavy usage. So it did consume almost 30% juice and almost gave me two plus hours of screen on time. And you can definitely get five to six hours of screen on time with ease if you, even if you play games so that is what i think let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this thank you so much for watching again give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Gary and Dex signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye